In this crazy market, I see so many people waiving inspections, and that is a huge mistake. You can reduce the inspection time and still win on deals because a lot of times it's not about the inspection. It comes down to the money that the seller wants to make and allowing you an inspection, really, if their agent is educating them properly, would be telling them it's very important for them to allow you to have an inspection because they wanna cover their butt as well. If they ended up in court and they forgot to disclose something or they hid something, then you can sue them. So this is why I never allow a seller to waive an inspection or a buyer to waive an inspection. Also, a lot of buyers and their agents tell them that, oh, we'll just get you a home warranty and that'll cover if there's a problem. And that's not true. If for any reason, when you contact that home warranty company, you cannot prove that there was not this issue prior to you moving in, they don't have to cover it because they don't cover pre-existing issues. They only cover new issues that have happened since you moved into the home. And many people don't realize that. Then they get really upset with the home warranty company that they didn't cover something. But it's not the home warranty's company's problem. It's that you weren't educated enough um, by your agent to let you know that that's not how it works. Home warranties are to cover you on new existing issues. And even that, you should know, home warranty companies have page after page after page of what's excluded. So they cover about 70% of what you're calling for anyways. So this is why it's so important for you to get an inspection. And if you're inspecting an older home, you should always pay the money to have the sewer lines inspected. A lot of people are like, oh, it cost me $400, $500, $600, whatever, depends on the state and size of the house and do you have a pool and all those things. But the question is, um, that's gonna cost me so much money and now you want me to pay another three, four, five hundred dollars $500 for the uh, lines to be inspected? And I'm gonna tell you, yes, because if for any reason that a root has busted a pipe down there and insurance sees that it's pre-existing and you didn't have that inspected, then that could cost you twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, who knows? And is that really, you'd rather have the risk of paying twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 uh, on that pipe than just paying a three, four, five hundred dollar bill to make sure everything's okay. You're purchasing the largest investment of your life. Why would you not spend the money on inspections and make sure you understand what you're buying and that if there is a problem and you still want the house, then you are financially preparing for that knowing down the road that you may have to replace it. It's all about being educated when you buy a house.